Hello. In a survey conducted for the British Nutrition Foundation, we found that there's lots of confusion about low calorie sweeteners. Of 2,000 adults surveyed, nearly a quarter said they want more information about the safety of these ingredients. Many people are also confused about what products they're found in. So if you ever get asked about low calorie sweeteners, what they are, how they work, if they're good for you, this film contains all the information you need. Low calorie sweeteners are ingredients that are added to foods and drinks to give a sweet taste but with far fewer calories than sugar. They're used in a wide variety of food and drinks like soft drinks, chewing gums, yogurts, puddings and tabletop sweeteners. Examples of low calorie sweeteners include aspartame, ACE K, sucralose, saccharin and the newest addition to the list, stevia, which is actually derived from the leaves of a plant and was approved for use in late 2011. So all foods and drinks that contain low calorie sweeteners are clearly labelled with sweeteners and listed in their ingredients. The E number is simply the number the European Commission give to all food additives to show they've been approved as safe. Sugar contains four calories per gram, whereas a low calorie sweetener contains few or no calories. So replacing some or all of the sugar in foods and drinks with a low calorie sweetener can help weight management by lowering calorie intake. Low calorie sweeteners don't cause blood glucose to rise, but still provide sweetness, which makes them helpful for people with diabetes as they provide wider food and drink choices. So I've got type 1 diabetes, which means I have to um, monitor my blood glucose levels quite carefully. Um, and I have to inject insulin every time I eat anything with carbohydrate in it. What does that mean in terms of your diet? Well, I just have to think a little bit harder about the choices I make in terms of um, carbohydrate foods, so anything with sugar in it. And are low sugar products useful for you? Yeah, so I try and use uh, sugar substitute products um, quite regularly, so diet soft drinks or um, no sugar squash, because if I have that, it means I don't have to inject anything, which is always quite nice. I think low calorie sweeteners are very safe. Like all food additives, they're rigorously tested for their safety. And then they're evaluated by authorities such as the European Food Safety Authority. And they've concluded that at the level of consumption, there is no concern. Low calorie sweeteners have an ADI. What does that mean? The acceptable daily intake, or ADI, is a level of consumption that any member of the population could consume every day throughout a lifetime without coming to any harm. So for example with aspartame, are we likely to be consuming the ADI? The ADI for aspartame is 40 milligrams per kilogram body weight. And to get to that level of consumption, you would have to consume 80 sachets every day throughout your lifetime for there to be any possibility of harm or 14 cans of a diet soft drink. And it's extremely unlikely. It's perfectly safe for pregnant women and children to consume low calorie sweeteners. However, because young children need sufficient calories to support their growth and development, low calorie products are not always appropriate for them. A very small number of people are born with a condition called phenylketonuria or PKU. This is where they can't metabolize the amino acid phenylalanine, which is found naturally in meat, dairy and other foods. But aspartame, when digested, also breaks down into phenylalanine, so people with PKU need to avoid this sweetener. There's no clear evidence that low-calorie sweeteners lead to an increased appetite. It has been suggested that we can't respond as effectively to liquid calories, but most recent studies have shown little or no difference in hunger following liquids or solids with similar energy contents. But of course, low-calorie sweeteners should be seen as a tool for weight loss in the context of a healthy diet and an active lifestyle. So that's the lowdown on low calorie sweeteners. If you'd like to know more, you can download a fact sheet from our website. Thank you for watching.